If your site does not have the Google API key and your map is working properly, don't mess with it. However, if you have added the API key and you get something like this, then you're going to want to go through the process. Okay, Google, in their never-ending quest to keep us on our toes, has already made changes to how to set up the map API key. So this is a tutorial to show you how to do the updated version. First thing we do when we log into our site, click on Appearance, Themes, and there is a new version available and if you are using drag and drop this may be happening on a daily basis so it's definitely worth checking when you log in okay updated now the first part of this process is the same as the one before so don't give up part way through and think you already know how to do this because it is different you log in theme jack biz and come down to integration and click on the link here get your Google map API key from here and you will be deposited in the library if you aren't already logged into your Gmail account you'll need to do that and then we come to just to the right of Google API's and click on the drop-down arrow and select create project give your project a name I'm finding it's easiest if I use the website name and what the specific API key is for and click on create okay we need to make sure that we are on the on the project that we just created so the first one that we click on is Google Maps JavaScript API and select enable and the little Google dance we go back the next th one that we select is Google Maps directions and enable go back click on more and we need Google Maps geocoding API click enable and back and the last one is Google Plus API enable and here's where the similarities stop. We click on credentials and we want to create credentials and this is we select the top one it's the API key and close and this is our maps API key. We need to wait the requisite five minutes before installing this key on our website. Go back to integration. Okay, Sticky has just arrived to announce that the five minutes has passed and I now paste the API key in here and save. So Google Map connection added successfully. So we'll now go to footer. So we're going to add a module, map module, and you see that the address is already inserted in here. For the map center address, we really want just the city, name, state, and zip code. And find, and I find typically it doesn't do that default and here is the complete address fine and here is the address now I want to show the circle yes and I will use white for the color 200 and that's good and insert okay and I actually need to see here now it's pulling up the map address and mouse wheel on zoom 14 this is the one in the footer so I don't want it really tall and I want the address boxes off and here 200 is good 
show on all devices and save and save settings and the map is usually also on the contact page so I'm going to open pages click on contact us and I'm going to add a map module here and the module name is map and the address is automatically inserted here and this one I do want the address boxes to be on show on all devices okay and then we'll check the settings for the default address okay and the address is automatically inserted and it's located the business show circle you can show it or not circle radius would be 20 kilometers I think that's about 15 or 16 miles address box height this is on the contact page so it's fine if it's higher okay and then click on insert pin save and update if your site already had a map module on the contact page and a map module in the footer and neither of them wishes to be reset to the correct address you might find that if you delete the module update and the same thing on the footer page delete the module and update or save settings and then go and add the map module back it should save the settings properly and let's take a peek and I could have made the map even taller and when the customer enters their address here your address is automatically entered in the second and they click on go okay click go that's fabulous here's the little map in the footer and that wraps up this tutorial.